Good evening. It's your old pal, Ron Howard, from Extreme Sequences, and I am extremely tired, but I really felt this was sort of necessary to share with you folks, uh, more so on the Windows side. Uh, XLice 2022.18 dropped, uh, I guess, earlier this morning, and uh, right away people started reaching out saying, hey, I'm having some problems with these sequences, XLice keeps crashing, so I opened up a sequence that somebody was having a problem with and not only was it this sequence but it was a lot of sequences and i've posted the reason why but i wanted to demonstrate what it is and something you can do in the uh you know just in case uh windows version of x lights is not updated and you've installed 2022.18 and you want to take advantages of some of the new cool enhancements specifically one that i know Pierre uh, is really looking forward to for moving heads. Uh, there's been some updates to really help with that. So what can you do until a new rollout? Well, <laughs> you may have to wait or you may have to replace effects or you may have to delete effects. And the two effects that we are talking about are the fire effect and the candle effect. And if they're at any submodel group level, uh, your system's gonna crash, whether it is Mac or PC-based, it doesn't care. It's something that was released, uh, maybe an enhancement, something that happened in the code that's causing this problem. But here's sort of a, a way that I went around testing to see uh, what it could be, and I believe Dan, Dan found this. I just kinda said, okay, great, let me see if I can reproduce that, and I was able to solve my issue. But it doesn't really solve my issue because I have to delete effects or replace them, and that sort of sucks. So uh, Dan has already pushed out 2022.18. As soon as it's approved at the Apple Store level, uh, it'll be available to all the Mac users, so that's kind of a cool thing. But let me kind of show you one of the cool things you can do with x Lights. Uh, hopefully never in this situation, but you should know how to do this anyway and that is being able to search for specific effects and deleting them throughout your sequence if you ever need to. And in this case, I sort of did, uh, but I'm looking forward to the rollout. So how do we do this? Uh, first, we do go up to our windows, uh, our view windows and choose the search effects. And that's gonna open up another box here and we can tell it we want to search for all models and let's just type in candle. Here we go, we'll find that. And this shows all of the candle effects throughout the sequence. And there's there's a good bit, there's a good bit. Uh, now, I'm gonna warn you that if you do not right click and show all effects, it will miss some of them. You may have uh, submodels and you may have things within groups. It will miss them and it will crash. Ask me how I know. So I'm gonna do another find, see if it sees them all. I'm gonna click select all. And as you can see here on the right, it has selected all the candles. All I'm gonna do is on my keyboard, I hit backspace on your windows, you might click delete and it is going to delete all the candles as it just did. Then I'm going to search for fire on the top left, find, select all, and we'll see wherever it might find fire. It is going to select all of those and I can hit backspace, delete. So I'll go back over here. Oh, don't you dare crash on me. C-A-N-D-L-E, let's find. It found none, that's good. Let's do the same thing for fire. Find, butte. At this point, it is safe to render and save. Now, granted, this doesn't really help my sequence because I've just deleted two components that I really like in it, but it will not crash when I do this. Uh, I've tested this several times. Had I not done what I just did, and I tried to render, it would crash in about the first 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, in some sequences, it will not even open them up. 
in 2022.18. So the developers, I'm sure, are aware of this. I know Dan certainly is. He and I were working on this. I really applaud his effort at digging in and trying to figure out what the heck's going on. I sent him reports and I sent him package sequences. And uh, at the end of the day, he found the problem. I believe there are other problems, but I'll let the devs uh, work all that out. And I'm sure we'll see another version uh, soon. Again, if you're a Mac user, you're going to see 2022.18.1 roll out uh, probably by morning time. That's it. I hope you appreciate the efforts of uh, what the developers do and the painstaking troubleshooting that they're forced to uh, undertake some time. But we are close to our show starting, and it's pretty important we have something that uh, will work. All right. You guys have a great evening or morning, wherever you may be. See ya.